Hey PJs, welcome back to another video. Today I am reviewing Squid Game Slimes. So if you haven't heard of Squid Games, it is a Netflix original TV show that has been blowing up and a lot of people have seen it by now. So I thought what better way to kind of join the hype than to review Squid Game Slimes and a lot of shops have come out with them. So I decided to do that. This first package is from Momo Slimes and I obviously purchased one slime and it comes with a lot of stuff so that's why the bubble wrap, th there's a lot. But um, I <laughs> couldn't open this uh, slime care thing. This is why I don't open things on camera because I, I can't do it. I don't know, I always try to open it the wrong way. But they sent two Sour Patch Kid things and these things, like they're are so delicious and they sent some borax and their business card and everything was bubble wrapped neatly and nothing cracked nothing leaked and let me just say i appreciate every thing they put into this packaging it was so detailed and everything was separate they even sent an extra container with the clay piece so that when you assemble everything you can keep the extra overflow in that container the slime I purchased from them is called Dalgona Latte V2. It comes with a six ounce white kind of thickly chubby base slime, a two ounce coffee slime, and a I think one ounce clear slime. The base like I mentioned is like a thickly creamy chubby clay slime and Momo Slimes is pretty notorious for using this type of base for their DIY clays which I love because when you mix in the clay it just becomes so airy but it keeps that thickliness to it and just I don't know it makes the experience really fun and I think that's why I'm so addicted to Momo slimes right now because their clay slimes are just so amazing. So I'm turning over a new leaf and hopefully it's a good one. I've decided to show you guys me assembling slimes when there's a DIY aspect to it and I hope you like it. Again, it's kind of like how like why I don't open things on camera. I can't do it. I struggle way too long but I know that when I get to watch people put slimes together it makes my life more complete. <laughs> So I decided to do that. So I really hope you guys like it. But putting this together was so fun. I loved that even though it's kind of, it's just based off of Squid Games, but it's so intricate. There's so many different parts to this. And like, I swear, Momo Slimes put so much effort into her slimes and I love that. It is such an inspiration to me. What I found really interesting was that the clay sculpture was not big at all. It was quite small, which I'm actually not used to. I've done so many DIY clays, but this is the first time it's been this small. And I think, at least I know the base had clay in it. I think the coffee part had clay in it. So it wasn't a huge deal and it definitely stayed a clay slime. But mixing it in was really weird because since it was such a small amount of clay, it didn't really make a difference and I didn't feel it mix in, but it slightly changed the texture. I It was like a magic trick. I don't know what happened. I also loved the scent for this one. The base smelled really sweet, but it was a pretty light scent, kind of like sweet cream. So like the sweet cream you add to coffee or a latte. And then the two ounce smelled like coffee. And if you guys have ever tried a coffee scented slime, the coffee really comes through. I made the mistake once of adding too much to a slime that I created and it made the whole house smell like coffee it like coffee scents are insane so that two ounce actually took over the six ounce and it mostly smells like coffee but with a slight hint of sweet cream and i'm telling you guys it smells exactly like a, a latte it i love it once everything mixed together, this became the exact texture of why I like Momo Slime so much. It is super inflating and chubby and kind of jiggly. It's just so addicting to play with. You guys already know this one gets 5 out of 5 pajamas.
Next up, we have a slime from Glitter Slimes. I purchased one seven ounce slime, but she also sent an extra seven ounce and that was the sweetest thing, so thank you so much. And of course, she also sent her extras, which came in this little baggie, which included a piece of candy, her little business card, which a lot more people are using this little square business card. And I'm even thinking about switching to it because it's so adorable. And she also sent some activator spray. So here is the extra that she sent. I'm not going to be reviewing it because it doesn't fit in the theme of this video, but I love this one so much and she even had it in her shop and if you can still grab it, I definitely recommend it. Like it's a clear glue slushie with like no residue. Anyways, the slime I purchased is called Honeycomb Candy, which again, it's a DIY clay slime and the base is a very beautiful I don't know what to call this color, kind of cream, almost honey colored base. And it has a thigly and really dense texture to it, which I was low key hoping for this texture. She used to restock this slime called cake batter, I think is where, no, cake batter pudding is what it was called. And I got it twice. And I, both times I like played with it so much that I ruined it, but that texture was so beautiful. And this is what this one feels like and I was so excited because it just it's incredible like the last package she also sent an extra container with the clay piece in it so that you can put your overflow in it and I'm loving that more and more shops are doing that it's definitely something that needs to be normalized and honestly even if it's just a deli container it makes the world of a difference so there were several times I contemplated seeing if I could cut out one of the shapes but I <laughs> kind of spoiler alert I got the three shapes that aren't easy so I didn't want to try and fail I just so yeah so I just mix it in normally and honestly I'm kind of surprised that this one and the last one share the same similarities with the clay piece so both of them are pretty tiny and are kind of cut out the same way it's I don't know how else to describe it but it was kind of interesting to me because I'm just so used to big clay pieces. So of course, when this one mixed in, kind of like the last one, pretty unsatisfying to mix in because it did that freaking magic trick again and it mixed in with like no resistance and I almost didn't feel the clay getting mixed in. It just kind of went from a figly slime to a figly clay slime and it is really weird. I do love the resulting texture though. It's one of those ones that's kind of slight clay and slight just regular thick slime. It's just in between so it's really creamy but it has those bubble pops of a regular thick slime and the, plus the fact that it was thickly it just makes it that much more uh, enjoyable. I almost said inflatable but I will say surprisingly this one did not inflate very much and I almost didn't need the overflow container. That was kind of magic trick number two that this one pulled on me. It was also really interesting to me that with the scent she almost took it literally because it's called honeycomb candy and it really does smell like honey kind of like a honey flower it's really strong and i would definitely try to dial it back on it because it does give me a headache when i smell it too much just because i think it's just super sweet so that's really my only complaint once again this one gets five out of five pajamas And lastly, we have a package from Firefly Slime. I haven't tried her slimes in quite some time and I still have some of them because of how much I enjoy her slimes. So I thought what other perfect opportunity would I have than this because she released a Squid Game slime. So I thought why not? For the extras, she sent them in this little baggie, which yes, I freaking struggled with this one as well. Again, another prime example of why I don't open things on camera. I tried so hard to get this out and it, I was so determined not to break the bag, but not bend the card. And I ended up bending one of the corners, so it was a slight fail, but I felt triumphant after this, so... That was fun. But anyways, for the extras, she sent a piece of candy, some borax, which isn't labeled. Of course, as always, I recommend labeling it. Her business card and an extra card, which had like tips and stuff on it, which I haven't seen before. So I thought that was really cool. 
This slime I purchased is called Dalgona Cookies. It is an eight ounce slime. And once again, it is a DIY clay slime. Like 90% of the slimes that I saw that were squid grain related were DIY clays. And I liked that concept the best. So I'm pretty cool with that. The base is like a sugar cookie colored clay, almost butter slime. This one definitely had the most clay in the base out of the three. So that was really interesting to me. And what I'm really loving is obviously all three are DIY clays, which a lot of people might seem to think it's repetitive or whatever, but I, I honestly think the opposite. It was really interesting to me to see how people kind of interpreted Squid Game slimes and the different textures because all three turned out completely different from each other and I loved I, like everything about this, the experience, getting to mix everything. It was just so cool. And you'll even see with this slime, the clay sculpture is a lot bigger than the other two. So even the mixing experience was different even though all three clays felt really similar. Unlike the other two, this clay piece was in saran wrap or whatever you want to call it, and once again, I'm not functioning, so it took me just like a few seconds to figure this one out. I think I'm getting faster at this, but I don't know. But anyways, mixing this together it was a lot more satisfying than the other two, I will say, because the clay piece is probably just about quadruple the size of the other two, so it made a bigger difference when mixing it, and like with most DIY clays, I could feel the clay mixing into the slime, so this one was not a magician. What I also found unique about this one from the other two was the add-ins. This one had some, I think, black heart female slices and maybe some sprinkles in it. There weren't too many, so it was a little hard to tell, but the other two were just regular bases, and honestly, I didn't even notice that they like didn't have add-ins or anything until I opened this one, and I had to go look at the other two because I was like, wait, were they just plain? But yeah so i wanted to point that out there weren't too many add-ins in this one you could probably only tell when i first took the base out of the container but it was like that finishing touch that was just really adorable and of course since this one is called dalgona cookies it kind of was like a like sprinkles on the cookies even though the cookies don't have sprinkles on them i don't know but that's kind of how i interpreted it once everything was fully mixed together i instantly fell in love with this one and I don't know what was going on so this was like one of those ones that just inflates so much but it's it keeps its texture it was like I was playing with a slime form of shaving foam it was so weird it's just one of those ones that you can't tell if it's more dense or more airy or both or whatever but it was freaking me out because like I could like I was kind of playing a little more aggressively so you guys could see the fact that the shape was holding and it was weird I also love the scent. Again, it's more on the like cookie theme, so it's it kind of smelled like cookies, like super slightly, and then a really strong smell of frosting. It smells delicious. And once again, this one gets five out of five pajamas. I really enjoyed every slime from this video. And with that, that is the end of this review, and I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you made it this far, I want to know down below who of you guys has seen Squid Games. If you have seen it, what you thought about it, please keep the spoilers, like, non-existent. And uh, if you haven't seen it, let me know why you haven't seen it or if you are going to see it. And by the way, I absolutely loved it. But anyways, I am signing off, and I will see you guys in the next one.